right, day three people. Today is the day we take a chill. Everything is good, we woke up, it's not too hot yet. It's 9.35, our first stop is a castle. Sunscreen, all done. Let's roll. The forecast says it's gonna be even hotter today. Oh my god, day three butt eggs. We just did the shittiest part of the day, the main road. You like a ponytail? You're so cute, Heidi. Saint Laurent de Vigne. The camera doesn't do justice. Hot love. Let's just appreciate where we are. Okay. Get out of the sun. Jacqueline. Please. <laughs> Come on, got this. I know, me too. I'm hungry. This is pleasant. It's just grass. Look, I see the road. Google Maps. There's a path right in front of me, eh? Watch the spikes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if you can see the sweat dripping down my face, but I am. It's 10:30. I'm already done with the day. Why would Google bring us this way? Uh, Google, if you're watching this, and since you watch everything, tell us why. You believe this road here is good to put on the GPS. I mean, are you kidding me? No cars ridden through there in like 30 years. This is terrible. Look at me, I'm a mess. I only left an hour ago. My girlfriend's about to leave me. It's an outrage, Google. You know how many divorces you might have caused because of wrong directions? <sighs> Today we're gonna take you easy. My ass. <sighs> Look at this. I'm dripping from every pore of my body. This is where we just came from. Down there. There's a boulangerie right around the corner. Don't say no to boulangerie when it's that hot. What a day, and it's only 10.52. Talk, monsieur. The castle love. What? <laughs> this is water, guys. Mine's just sweat. <laughs> is it wet? Yeah. So we made it to the castle. It was not, what is it, five minutes? It was more like an hour. I got it wrong because Max put an extra stop. Anyway, this, stop. they don't need it. Now. That's they, rude. They don't need to know. Don't be rude. We made it to the castle finally. Not after five minutes, but an hour. 
The castle looks really fun. There's all these games out on the lawn. So I think it's mainly for kids, but for a couple of big kids anyway. Uh, Do you want to do a strike quickly? Okay. The ball cheap. is not round. Excuses already. And the thing is not flat. And the thing is not flat. One. That was just sad. All right. Let me show you how you do it. <laughs> You're the exact same as me. 180. Oh. oh. That was terrible. <gasps> you have to get this ball up there. Using those two strings. Oh. It's pretty high. How are they? Basically, you have to put this bag on top of that bag. Oh. That's this game. <laughs> on your marks, get set, go. I'm hearing the bell. It's your bell. It's your bells, you're too heavy. Oh, you touch, you go back, you go back. I touch by oh. hearing a bell. Okay, we both have to go back. I don't have to. I saw the thing. There's no bell. There's no bell. If you touch the damn thing, I'll it give you It doesn't matter as long as you don't ring a bell. I don't like this game. I won. This one is a teamwork game. I don't think Max and I can do a teamwork game. We're not very good at it. This is lame. Hey. <laughs> Look at your background, no? This is an actual castle. This is no fake thing. I know. This is no styrofoam <laughs> yeah. wild castle. This used to be a genuine castle. Genuine knights lived here, probably. I don't know about knights. That's a big statement. Castle folk lived here. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> This castle, which is Chateau de Bredois, pronounced better, is from the 12th century. More than 10 different families have lived here. And the future king of France, so he wasn't the king, he became king, once ate here. He ate his dinner. Right here in this castle. It's crazy. There was also lots of fighting between the English people and the French people here. I mean, tell me something new, am I right? And uh, now it's yeah a fun amusement park for kids. Wow. <laughs> so rumor has it this is the boar that the future king of France dined on. <laughs> <laughs> Here in these times, these stone walls. That's intense, but there it is. Wow, this is really cool. This is amazing. So dark. Imagine living in a hell of electricity. Yeah. There's no way to heat up the path on fire. So they couldn't have windows.
Let's go eat a medieval feast. <laughs> Tiring to be a queen. It is ruling over my kingdom. Ham wrap, jambon, coffee, beer, and a tuna wrap. It was 14 euro. Status update. The castle was fun. It's hot. It's really hot. I mean, I don't know. I think we'll count how many times I've said we've said hot in this vlog. <laughs> Oh, in the last two vlogs, it's really hot, guys. It's like 36 degrees right now. Like, there's no, not a breath of air. There's no relief. It's just heavy heat. So, we still got a long way to go today. So, we decided we're gonna jump back on the bikes and just try to take it super slow, break as much as we want to, not just push through it because yesterday, like we ended up stopping on the side of a main road because I was overheating, like I couldn't take it anymore. And, so, the, and the worst part of the heat is it's still ahead. Yeah. Like it's the hottest at 4, 5, 6 p.m. It's only 1.30, so we still have a lot more heat coming up. Yeah. So and we have about 30K, like altogether more or less 30K. So it should be done quick, but with the heat, yeah, it's not that easy. Yes, the thing is, is 30K is not that hard on a bike. If you've got shade, if it's cool temperature, like you can really get through it. But in this heat, it just drains your energy. It's not our muscles, it's our energy. Try to conquer this because the only cherry we're chasing with this 30K is that our Airbnb has a pool. And that would be... So, but I'm not making any promises. We're not making we any might promises. have to stop and stay somewhere else before we get yeah. to that one. Let's go. Let's hit the road. We're heading to Lausanne, which is 16 kilometers. That will be our two third of the way. But I tell you that it's hot, guys. I don't know if you know this, but it's really hot. Just letting you know. Somewhere over there, there she is. She's probably hating me so much right now. Didn't even stop. She must really hate me right now. 13 kilometers to go until losing. So I just had a proper breakdown and a cry on the side of the road. I think I just needed to let my emotions out and I think I was just overwhelmed. And I didn't want to do it anymore. But we pushed on. And we had a, such a good downhill and a bee flew into my shirt and stung me. Oh, it's hard to catch a break. Five kilometers until our next stop. We'll see how we're feeling in five kilometers. Even the sunflowers cannot handle the heat. Is this France or is this Africa? <sighs> How are you feeling? Made it to Lausen. And there's a fountain which is very refreshing. Oh my gosh, my face is so red. I just poured water all over myself to try and cool down. <sighs> Feels good to be in the shade and rest for a minute. And I'm so grateful for this fountain. Yeah. Like that is just... The last 5k were really hard. Happy to be here now. Now we gotta find out what to do because this town is dead for the next 45 minutes. So we tried to book an Airbnb with a pool for tonight to cool off. It was available on Airbnb, but we messaged just to check and make sure there was somewhere we could secure our bikes for the night. And, um, he said that that Airbnb actually wasn't available, but he had another one that we could rent, but not on Airbnb, just through him. It's all a little bit like, seems fine. Like 
you know, it's just a place to sleep. He said it has a pool as well. He said he'd meet us in the town at 5 p.m. and take us there on his mountain bike because we told him we were cycling, of course. And you can't exchange phone numbers or emails or anything on Airbnb. So we gave him our Instagram and said message us there. Maybe he doesn't have Instagram. I don't know. It's not 100% booked in, but we're hoping it'll be something. That's not ice cream. You promised me an ice cream. When in France, people. I promised an ice cream break when we got to this town and there is no ice cream so we're gonna mission on to the next town which is a long way away it's no ice cream but it's okay just to let you know that we're not lying about the heat 45 degrees 45 degrees <laughs> 45 Airbnb host for tonight met us about 10 kilometers out of town and he's been driving in front of us whilst we rode. We just stopped at his dad's house for a cold drink which was really lovely but he's got this van and we thought he was gonna offer to put our bikes in the back and give us a lift but he didn't. So we're a little bit bleak about that. I mean, it's so nice of him to meet us, to show us the directions. But hopefully we get there soon. And there's a pool because that would be glorious. Did I mention it's 46 degrees? Hottest day of the year. We made it. Cool place. It's like a redone barn. Kaput. Finally, we found the pool. Cheers.